Hello and welcome back to our third guide for Rise of the Witch King. So today we're going to be looking at the Dwarven faction. Now the Dwarves don't really have too many build orders, but they do have a lot of options that stem from their build order, so they could be quite adaptive on the battlefield. So starting off with the standard opener here, we can either go for Guardians and do a quick attack, or we could actually go for Pikes and try to creep something. Now, for the standard build, I prefer the Guardian route. And then once we get the Guardians, we go into a Forge Works and right into that Battle Wagon with Leadership. So, there are a few things to consider for Dwarves. So, if you're up against Angmar or Mordor, it's usually better to get a second... Uh, Hall of Warriors or an Archery Range, if you're up against Elves, Men of the West, Goblins, or Isengard, a Forge Works and Battle Wagons are best against them. And for a Dwarf Mirror, Dwarf versus Dwarf, uh, definitely get Prince Brand as he is amazing in that uh, matchup. So uh, let's get started and show off this uh, standard opener. Alright, we're loaded up, so a little bit different this time around. So Dwarves, we're going to do two mine shafts. Uh, one in front of our barracks and one behind. Or our fortress, I mean. We're going to get Rallying Call. And you want to position these mines so that the mine shaft uh, opening is facing outward. So this is facing outward and this is also facing outward. Now we're going to go ahead and go for that barracks. Rotate it a little bit here. And with this builder, we're going to go out onto the map and try to make another mine shaft for those guardians that we're going to be attacking with soon. Alrighty, so instead of the three mine shafts or the three farm placements around the fort, for dwarves we want two. And also make sure to face them outward so that they have an easy way of defending if anything comes. As soon as this is done, we'll make guardians right away. Send the builder down here to make some mine shafts. And with this one, we're going to make a mine shaft somewhere around here to maybe attack with very shortly. And put it, uh, it's good to usually put it up against a uh, terrain so that the enemy can not go behind it and take it out easily. They would have to engage from the front and if they do that you can just eject your guardians and then they will be able to protect them. So as soon as the guardian pack comes out make another one really quickly and with this builder over here we want to make another mine shaft in case this one up here goes down or gets scouted we want to have another safety mine shaft down at the bottom here. Also going to be placing against these rocks here to defend it a little bit. The here. Looks like the enemy is here. They did scout this. They have archers, so not that scary. There we have two battalions of guardians now. We can eject from here. Keep making guardians from base. Now we want to kind of move on up towards his base. And now that we see his camp, we're going to rally call, split up these guys, make sure you split them to do as much damage as you possibly can with them. Aggressive stance um, around the buildings, kind of move into the building to clump around it and then go around and attack it. Looks like he did find our mine here, a bit unfortunate. Let's send the builder back, make another one here. We do have more guardians coming. As soon as this is done, we have to micro these guys. We got a builder as well here. Very nice indeed. Keep micron around. Uh, he's attacking us. We're going to go into defensive stance and we're going to charge at him. That way we'll clean up very quickly. Uh, we want to have a builder come back to base for a mine shaft. We should have sold this to be honest. A little bit of a misplay there to prevent him from getting any power points. 
We're doing good here, so this is have this has already been a very successful attack. Looks like he's here, but we have some guardians here to defend. Although they might be stuck a little bit. No, they're not. They're fine. You can defend here, make another mine shaft. Doing a ton of damage. He has archers attacking us, so we can actually go engage them. Builder, gonna be injecting him out. And we're gonna make a forge for those battle wagons. These guys are doing decently. These guys are still in the back here doing a ton of damage, which is very, very nice. Looks like we might be winning here. He did not succeed in destroying that, so we'll make another one. Back there. Need to make some more guardians. These guardians are doing an outstanding job already. Clump up here once again to take care of that. Get these guys back in. Keep making these guys. We're gonna have a big, big push coming out here soon enough. And we kind of want to conserve our manpower. Me. Gotta be a little bit careful with these dwarves. We want that battle wagon out now, so queue it up as soon as you can. Keep on attacking. And harassing him. Try to conserve your dwarves. In the meantime, keep expanding around his base. Also could be expanding around our base as well. As soon as the battle wagon comes out, we should have rallying called back up. And once that battle wagon does come out, we want to have leadership on it. And we want to retreat for now. Uh, looks like he did scout this. But he's going to fall right into our trap there. Nice job there. Fell right into our little trap. As soon as this comes out, make a banner carrier. Defensive stance and put it into the mine shaft. Keep making some more guardians. And we're going to actually come out here with everything. If the battle wagon. So now we have that buff. The leadership buff. We do have rallying call up as well. These guys can harass from this side. And we're going to just push on in here with that rallying call. We do have that battle wagon. So unless he has no pikes. No hero. So he can't really do much to contest with this battle wagon. So we're just going to make quick work of his gobos. And he's pretty much done for now. These guardians also come back. Make some more guardians. Keep expanding. Don't forget about that. Make another battle wagon. Why not? Go for his fort now. Get the battle wagon close by for that leadership bonus. Also attack with it. And he's pretty much done for at this point. Pretty much get a hero out now, whatever you feel like. Keep expanding. Some more battle wagons. Keep on making units here, and his fort's already down and out. And that is going to be the first build. And let's move on to that uh, second one now. And make sure to keep your my, uh, battle wagon close to your army at all times. Uh, don't try not to lose it. Use the oil barrels whenever you have to. And just keep it by your army in defensive stance so it doesn't run out and get uh, attacked or run into pikes. So GG and let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, moving on to that next build, we're going to have the fast racks. Now, there's two ways of doing this one. Uh, the first one, you could either creep the wargs first. And the second version, you can either creep the troll lair first. So we'll show both of these uh, coming up here soon. And for this build, since you're going to get that early Hall of Warriors up, you're going to have one more unit than normal. So once considering that, you want to do a big push with that extra unit and try to deal as much damage as possible because you're going to be a little bit behind starting off with that uh, Rax first here. So let's jump on into it and see it in action.
All right, we're loaded up here, so it's going to be a Rax opener. So I'm going to go right right ahead with that fast Rax and that uh, mine shaft. Get Rally and Call. And we're going to go ahead and show off the Warg Creeping route first. As soon as this is finished, I'm going to go over here and make a mine shaft next to the Warg lair. That way we're as close as possible to it. Face it towards the warg lair. As well as this first one, I'm going to face it outward. And with the builder, we're going to move across the map. Maybe I should build over here first. Nah, we're going to go across the map. Make a pikeman this time around, no guardian. The phalanx, I want to start that first. Gonna move out again with our builder once again. Try to find a juicy spot to make a mine shaft. Same with this one. And since we have this mine shaft here, we're gonna be able to creep these guys down very, very effectively and quickly. After this one, make a guardian battalion and get these guys right in. So as dwarves, you never want to move across the map. Uh, just like that. You want to use mine shafts at all times. That is the weakness of dwarves. They are very, very slow. Never move across the map uh, just with your army. Use mine shafts. Dwarves are one of the hardest factions to play and get the hang of. And one of the reasons is that players usually walk around a bit too much as dwarves instead of making mine shafts across the map and making use of that. Uh, strength of theirs, their mine shaft uh, mobility is their strength, and they're very, very tanky and beefy units. Keep making units. Looks like you found this. We want to cancel this. We want to get out of here. Just like that. Make one over here instead. Now with these guys here, We should have actually made a mine shaft here. It was a bit of a mistake, so we could have crept the troll right away. But that's okay. Next time we'll we can do that. Keep making these guardians. Looks like he's coming here. We're gonna eject. Try to defend our guys. Looks like they are stuck. We didn't eject in time, we sell that mine shaft then. And attack this uh, half trolls there. On this side, we can eject here. Creep another war glare while we buy time for our big force of guardians. Looks like he's trying to go for this one now. Hmm, we're gonna come back in actually. Creep this down again before he comes to us. Keep making guardians in the meantime. Looks like he's just aggroing on all of our mine shafts. Looks like he might actually steal our money too. <laughs> okay. I see you, freaking AI. Taking our monies. That's fine. We'll just attack him with a big force now. Once we have these guys went over here, keep expanding. Pick these guys off. We're gonna evac here. Uh, group up with all of our guys here. This wasn't the best start, of course. But we should make use of the start now pretty effectively with this big push here. Keep reinforcing. Keep making mine shafts. Should have been making that a long time ago. Get a bit closer to his uh, production buildings and his fort. Now we can rally and call, split up a bit, and maybe even go for his production. Now nah, he has half trolls there. We'll keep them busy for now and just kind of split up around his base and attack him wherever we can. 
Inject some more guardians. Keep attacking everything. Charge into his archers. We're cleaning up all of his tunnels now around his base. Gonna be kind of jumping on top of his production as well, which is very nice for us. Keep him busy while these guys keep walking around. And that's pretty much it for the build. You can either go into battle wagons once again since we're up against the goblins. Uh, maybe get a hero out if you want. And just a lot of things you could do here. And yeah, pretty much it. Already done a ton of damage and we're in a good position here. So let's show off that second part with the uh, troll creep this time. Alright, let's check out that um, next build variation. Going to be starting with the troll creep this time. And let's see if we can make it a bit cleaner this time. Alright, we're loaded up once again. Do that one start again. Racks first. Just like that, pick up Rally and Call. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go right for that troll creep. Right from the start. Alright, so with this builder here, I'm gonna go over here right away and make a mine shaft over here. When the barracks finishes up, make that uh, pikeman failing squad. Boom. Get the builder across the map. And once again, get that mine shaft as close as you possibly can here. And we might, uh, well, we might try with creeping with that builder here to make it a little bit easier. It's a little bit safer way to creep, and our builder's gonna be there anyway, so might as well. Alright, these guys are coming out already. Gonna be a good timing here. Alright, get these guys out and about. Get the builder to trigger the troll, get him out, get these guys in. I'm gonna go right behind them, like that. And gonna be creeping him very easily, just like that. Perfect creeping here. We took no damage. Except for that fall there, but that's basically no damage. We're gonna keep that now. Keep expanding over here. Into him. We kind of missed our guardian timing a bit there. From all the microing. So, can't really forget about that. You gotta make those guardians ASAP as soon as you possibly can. Alright, we crept that. We can also maybe even creep this troll if we can. Usually your opponent will be probably trying to creep something as well, maybe the troll. So let's go back in. Actually, we can just capture this, make hobbits. This is very nice. Nah, he's gonna go for that in with some archers, which is fine. Capture this for some hobbits. Keep making those guardians. I'm gonna keep expanding the mine shafts across the map. Okay, we have this building. Make some hobbitses. Rally to our mine shaft. Keep making those guardians. In the meantime, we can also creep this while we get our guardian a strength going. Creep it the old fashioned way here. Alright, that should be okay enough. Actually not the best creep. He's a bit too into the building right now. Looks like he did find this. We're just gonna sell this one. It's fine. Alright, our builder's in trouble now to wargs. He just came out on the wrong side there. Should be okay. He's getting back into that building there. Looks like he has some Corsairs here. Which is interesting. He did capture it. 
Even with the troll there. Use some guardians to fight them. Get these guys in. Get the hobbits in. Switch them to rock mode. Ah, uh, sell this. And where's our other barrack? We need to get a mine shaft up here ASAP. He's doing a good job of taking out our mine shafts this time around. Get rid of these corsairs. Make sure he doesn't take our creep monies this time. Should be able to get some more hobbits is going. Gonna help out with our push most definitely. And I'm gonna creep this. I'm gonna capture that. Looks like he's actually coming over here. Right into our barracks line. Gonna evac with a little bit here to defend. Hobbitses are getting captured. Which is fine. Save the Hobbitses. Trying to make a big push here. Keep making these. Actually gonna come out here with that big push. Get everyone in. Just like that. Make more Hobbitses from this side. Kill these mine shafts. Evac even more guys. We have a huge, huge army. Alright. Keep making these. We have a builder here. Two builders. Make a statue here for leadership. Buff up our guys. And then we could split off here. To do as much damage as we possibly can now. Keep splitting. Hobbits are doing a nice job of damaging. Keep expanding. He's gonna expand around him. <laughs> Can even go for his troll lair now. Offer as Fisher here. Boom. Grab that statue up. Get a hearth out as well. Why not? Charge on those half trolls. Keep making these hobbitses. Keep getting these guys in. Could make like something like brand or something. And at this point, it's pretty much GG. Cleaned up everything. Cleaned up his fissure. He still has one, but he's going to be in quite a bit of trouble now. Just taking out everything now. Attack his archers with those. Clean up more of these tunnels. And we're going for his production now. Completely gonna stop all of his production. And yeah, this is pretty much the build here. And let's move on to that last and final build now. Alrighty, moving on to our final build here. This one's more of a fun build, kind of a troll build. Uh, it's not gonna really work most of the time. Especially since battle wagons did get nerfed quite a bit. So this one's a bit of a fun troll meme kind of build. Uh, it could work on bigger maps and it could just work in general, but it's going to be quite rare. Maybe if they go full swordsmen or archers or something, this could work out very, very well. But if they go for like a pike or a pike rush of any kind, you're pretty much doomed. Unless you can somehow, I don't know, make something happen. But we'll see what we can do here. So for the first battle wagon, we want to have uh, want to upgrade it with axe throwers. They do building damage, and that way we can harass a bit with them. So two mine shafts from the start, rallying call there. And as soon as this finishes up, we're gonna go right into that forge and go ahead and do that battle wagon rush. And for that second battle wagon, once that one comes out, we're going to upgrade that with Men of Dale. And that way we can kite around and try to do as much damage as we can. Very expensive, this forge. Going to be using up all of our funds there right away. And we're going to have to just... Wait for the battle wagon to come out first. Wait for the forge to finish. 
before we buy another mine shaft. So once this one finishes on up right away, get that battle wagon going and upgrade it with axe throwers. And then if he comes and attacks us with swordsmen or something like that, we could easily deal with that. Uh, unless pikes come, then we might be in a bit of trouble. Get that battle wagon going. Move across the battlefield. Get another mine shaft going. Not gonna be creeping this time around, so it doesn't have to be close to any lairs. Protect it with those rocks a little bit. 97% mine shaft there. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and get axe throwers with this. Strong against archers, pikes, and structures. And we're gonna try to harass them as much as we can here. After this, we can get a barracks or a... Another battle wagon. Let's just keep making battle wagons. Looks like he made pikes. Which is very unfortunate for us. We just have to keep micron around. With this little lone battle wagon. And it's very micro intensive build this is. You gotta have micro around a lot. Looks like he hard countered us. Uh, making a lot of these half trolls. Marauders. Got to do a ton of micro here. We we'll probably need a come back to base and maybe make a barracks ASAP because this is a bit of a troll build. This is going to be very. Get men of Dale on this battle wagon and try to keep on harassing here, microing around, kiting. He's going to go for a base now, probably. We have Men of Dale now, so we can do quite a bit here on the defensive front. Get our guys an aggressive stance. Make sure they don't go in, though. We can use barrels here. Help out with our defense. And get the builder here to make a barracks. Keep on trying to attack these guys. Bad thing about here is we're not doing eco damage. We're just defending with these guys. Which is going to be very bad. We're way behind at this point. Let's see if we can get something going. Trying to expand a bit more. We're just going to be running around here and trying to take care of these uh, tunnels and whatnot. Axe throwers are pretty good against buildings. You can even attack with the battle wagons. Cool trick here is if you click on a tunnel, you can see if he has anything in the tunnel by hovering over here. You'll see some icons of units on this tunnel uh, UI. Cool little trick to note. If you're versing a multiplayer player, you will have stuff in the mine shaft. Just keep on harassing now. Keep me get brand out at this point. Get Brand out for the defense. Try to get this down real quick and then peel out of here. You can even rally and call uh, battle wagons just like that. Battle wagons are actually affected by this. So they will get that buff. And we'll be able to take out these guys. No problemo at all. Keep making some more of these. Keep expanding. Throw a barrel. Clean up all of this here. And yeah, just keep on microing around, trying to pick off these tunnels. Do what you can. It's a very, very micro intensive build. So it's a little bit harder to execute. But sometimes this one should work on bigger maps. 
and it will give you a lot of time to prepare at home, so you get a barracks out for defense against pikes and whatnot, while the battle wagons take care of anything else, like these gobos are getting wrecked here, just run them over and go after his tunnels and his builders even. His builders are very vulnerable to this. He's gonna be trying to run out, he's trying to flee, he's like, flee for your life! Almost got him. Gotta be careful though. If we run into those pikes, our battle wagons will go down instantly. Okay, get rid of this. Uh oh. Look how much damage they're doing already. It's crazy. We gotta be careful. Always keep an eye out on these. Back at home, we're not really microing or macroing very good at all. We have a lot of money floating. Keep expanding. Make even more battle wagons, make heroes, what have you, whatever works. And pretty much this is the build, not much else you can do. Maybe once you get an army going, get a third battle wagon for the leadership, uh, the leadership banners. And then make a big push with three battle wagons and a bunch of guardians, and maybe some pikes. And of course you also have the heroes, just make a big ass push. Should work out very well. Make, be sure to be careful. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And um, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time with the next build order, which is gonna be for Mordor. So I'll see everyone next time for that one. Until next time. Take care guys and peace out.